News. And we're joined now by Dr. Sarah Pitt, who's a virologist at the University of Brighton and a fellow of the Institute of Biomedical Science. Dr. Pitt, great to have you with us this morning. So really good news, the news that uh, all over 50s, all of the people in those top nine priority groups, including, of course, the clinically vulnerable, have been uh, offered their first dose of a vaccine three days ahead of schedule. Where does that put us in the effort to tackle COVID, do you think? I've heard various analogies this morning. Um, how would you describe it? Well, I mean, I think it's good news. It's important to remember that just because you've been offered the vaccine doesn't mean that you've actually had it um, yet. And also that um, until people have had their second dose and they've had a couple of weeks for their immune system to respond to that second dose, they're not going to be fully protected um, against themselves getting seriously ill in hospital and also on being able to pick up the virus and pass it on to other people. We know that even the first dose gives you some protection against that, but it's not a full protection. So for example, someone, I worked this out last night, someone who'd had their vaccine this last week for their first dose, won't have their second dose until um, the first week of July, which means they won't be fully protected probably till the end of July. So we're doing very well, but there's a long way to go. That's a really important point you make because we know that these vaccines do a really good job of preventing serious illness and hospitalisation. But as you say, uh, people have got to have the second dose and they've got to allow time for, for that to kick in. Yes, that's right. And that's really important to remember that. And particularly we know that after the first dose, you are not, um, you're not protected, fully protected against picking up the virus and potentially getting uh, mild to moderate COVID disease yourself and then passing it on to other people. So the, the point about the vaccination program is that it's trying to do two things. It's trying to protect you as an individual from, from serious illness from COVID, but it's also trying to help everybody to get the virus under control. And so um, both of those things, you need to kind of think of it in both ways. Mm. So people who've had, for example, both doses of the, um, of the vaccine mustn't just assume, oh, well, I'm fine, I can do what I like, because it is a collective effort. And it's not just a, a collective effort across the UK, it's a collective effort across the whole world. So really, until everybody in the whole world has had their two doses, this virus has, will, won't be properly under control. So although we're doing very well in this country, we do need to um, be cautious, proceed with caution and just, you know, don't get too overexcited. We don't, what we don't want to do is blow all the really good work that mm. the vaccination program has done so far by um, getting too impatient. So we just need to yeah. take it gently for a bit longer. And as you say, there is a difference between the people who have been offered the vaccine and who has actually taken up that offer. Although, just to give you one statistic, uh, the chief executive of NHS England, Simon Stevens, says 19 out of 20 of those most at risk have been vaccinated already, uh, out of 19 out of every 20. So that's really interesting. Um, in terms of then what's happened so far and, and what happens next. We know now over 45s in England can book uh, their vaccination on the NHS website. Uh, and if uptake is as good in that age group and as we work our way down through the ages, uh, as we've seen so far, things are looking more promising, aren't they, though? They are, but I think it's worth, I'd say, um, re remembering that it's going to be people who are just starting their course of vaccine now, they say it's going to be July, perhaps into August, before um, those individuals are fully protected. And in the meantime, we do need to look out for these um, variants of concern. So um, the one that first uh, originated in Kent, the vaccine does seem to work quite well against that one, which is good, although it is very infectious. But the vaccine, the, the, sorry, the variants that first originated in South Africa, Brazil, and there's one that originated in Nigeria that's got itself over here as well. Um, the vaccines, we think, don't work quite as well against those. So we need to keep those um, at bay as far as we possibly can. And we need to um, remember that the, that the as the vaccination numbers of people vaccinated going goes up, we do need the number of cases to continue to go down, and we do need to keep an eye on that. We need to keep an eye on the um, the R the R number, which I've yeah. been looking. So, at. So 
So, so how, sorry to interrupt, but how, how concerned should we be about this cluster of the South African variant then in a couple of boroughs in London? Um, I think we should note that it's happening. I don't think we should be panicking because the public health um, professionals have really done a very good job. They've done their job and they've done it well. What they've done is they've um, uh, identified, they're saying they identified um, the people and their contact and they've done, they're doing surge testing to make sure they've picked everybody up. And of course, they're, they are, we're able to um, sequence the, the viruses and, and check which ones are the, the, um, the, the variant. Um, and, what, and what they've done is you know, jumped on that small outbreak like a ton of bricks and make sure that it doesn't actually spread any further. So we would, ex I think we are going to see that happening more and more around the country, that little localised outbreaks will suddenly become, everybody will come in and try and make sure that doesn't spread any further. And particularly okay. if it's associated with one of these variants, we do need to do that. Dr. Sarah Pitt, um, we are out of time, but thank you very much. Very interesting to talk to you. Just to let you know, we'll be talking soon to the uh, Director of Public Health for Lambeth Council about uh, that South African variant cluster and about the surge testing that's going on in the area to try to tackle that.